Hello viewers, Ford DIYers here with another video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be showing you how to preload rubber bushings, which is typically found on control arms and other suspension components. Bushings must be preloaded, otherwise they will prematurely fail. Preloading is done when the bushings are tightened in a relaxed suspension position, meaning that the wheels will be supporting the vehicle's weight, or some manufacturers may require you to have weight inside the vehicle to seem as if there is people sitting inside. If the bushings are tightened while the vehicle is elevated and the wheels are in the air, once lowered, the bushings will be twisting, fighting against the direction they're being pushed in. This will eventually cause the rubber to tear, crack, or separate. I will be showing you a couple different examples. First, starting out with the Volvo, as some of you may have remembered, I replaced the rear control arms here. Each control arm has two bushings, one at the subframe and the other at the wheel carrier. Therefore, both bushings need to be preloaded. Once the new control arm and the bolts are installed, don't tighten it up just yet. I will be doing this with the wheels off. Place a jack stand under the control arm or wheel carrier, in a safe place where the weight of the vehicle can be applied to the suspension. Lower the vehicle so the jack is no longer supporting the vehicle's weight. With the wheels in place, it's difficult to gain access to these bolts. With the weight on the suspension, the vehicle should be somewhat level as well and this can be checked by sticking a magnetic level on the subframe. Make sure the vehicle is safe to work around the suspension, even use an additional jack stand as a safety, but this should not interfere with the preloaded suspension. If there is a suggested weight for the inside of the vehicle, then this should be followed as well. Now tighten the control arms to the correct factory torque specifications. Considering two control arms were replaced, all four mounting points will be preloaded. Elevate the vehicle, remove the jack stands, and then install the wheel. Moving on to the other example on the ground, next is Ranger. This is a different style of control arm which has two bushings on the subframe side. At the steering knuckle there is a ball joint instead. The bushings at the subframe will need to be preloaded. With the truck on level ground, the fender covers will need to be removed to gain access to the control arm bolts. This truck also has adjustments for the caster and camber angle, so you will need to lock those plates into place so they don't move. Reach inside the fender wells and tighten those bolts to the correct torque specifications. With these control arms, there will be two points which are preloaded, so the rear and front mounting points on the frame for each control arm. Once done, you can then reinstall any covers. New videos released every week on my channel. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It's a huge help to me and leave a comment below if you found this tutorial helpful. Don't forget to follow my social media pages such as Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter to keep up to date with my latest projects. And if you're not a subscriber, be sure to also hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching.